inverse of a function, what do I do? What's my rule? Do you remember what the what the recipe is for finding an inverse? Just let's take one as an example, and then it'll all come back to you. I know it will. Find the whoops, to find an inverse. It's really simple. If it's written as f of x, we write it in terms of y, which is already done for us. And then all we do is we switch the x and y and solve for y. Trade the x's and the y's. Remember doing that? No. Don't. Okay. Well, it, it maybe you never did, but if you didn't, that's okay. So we're going to switch x and y. So that becomes an x. That becomes a y. And then we're just going to isolate y, solve for y. You know how to do that stuff. You guys are good at that. What's, what are the steps I would go through to isolate y? Subtract 2. Cube both sides. And then... Oh, hang on. Add 1. We'd have it, right? So those are our steps. So first we would subtract 2. Get that y by itself. So we get x minus 2 equals the cube root of y minus 1. Okay, you said we cube both sides, right? And so that's going to give us, over here, that's going to be real convenient. That's just going to give us a y minus 1. Over here, if I cube that all out, I'm just going to get x cubed minus 3x, actually minus 6x squared, whoops. Minus 6x squared plus 12x minus 8. Okay? And then last step? Add 1. Add 1. We got it. Okay, add 1 to both sides. Minus 7. Now, how did I get that so fast? It's, it's not hard. You can just FOIL that out, x minus 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 2, and just collect like terms. You can also, it is shorter to do this, if you remember that a plus b cubed, if you remember the pattern, a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed, then that makes things quicker. So for us, instead of a's and b's, we would have had a was x b was negative 2, x plus negative 2 cubed, and just make those substitutions. But, but either way, I mean, it's you're going to get that answer. That's it, right? That's all we do. We just switch the x's and the y's, solve for the new y. Okay? Let's try one more of those. Okay, so that we did. Let's find the inverse of, what about that one? Okay, so we're finding the inverse of this. Yep. So switch x and y. So that becomes an x. Okay, what are the steps we would go through to isolate y? First, add 2, divide by 3, and cube root. That's it. So x plus 2 equals 3y cubed. X plus 2 over 3 equals y cubed. Y equals cube root of x plus 2 over 3. Now, I got a question for you. Uh, probably a pretty important question. How do we put that in Moodle? We, don't, we can't put a cube root in Moodle. There is no squirt for a cube root. So we'd have to enter it as a rational exponent instead. What's the power that, that that's equivalent to a cube root? 1 over 3. Yeah. yeah, so we would just do this then. If we want to put this in Moodle, we would just take the quantity uh, 
well, the quantity of the quantity x plus 2 over 3, that whole quantity to the 1 third power, right? See what that says? x plus 2 all divided by 3, the whole thing to the 1 third is cube root. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Right, I'll give you a time for one more. Then we're done for the day. It has been, hasn't it? Okay. Okay. This is a tricky one. Okay. I'm saying x is anything that's positive. This is saying x is negative. Oh. Okay. Okay. And you'll see why we need that here in a second. Just do one end on Okay, so if we want to find the inverse, we're going to switch everything in there. Everything gets switched. So this becomes x equals 3y squared minus 2, where y is less than or equal to 0. Okay, why do we need that? Well, you'll see here in a second. Now, uh, if I solve for y, what are the steps I go through? First, I add 2, divide by 3, square root. Okay, so then that's get, Now, if I do all that stuff, would you guys agree that I'm going to get this? I'm going to get, there's my x plus 2 divided by 3, right? There's my square root, but... If I square root both sides, I have to put a plus or a minus out there, right? Okay. Now, now the answer to a square root always is positive, isn't it? You could never get back a negative result. If I put, aha, uh -huh. look at this. Because y is less than zero, and I know that this answer is going to be positive, I need to have the negative sign out front. Okay. See that? That's a tricky one. Everybody see that? Okay, very good. Wow. That's got to be a world record for Alpha 2 right there.